Hello, wedding wanderers. My name is Assumpta and welcome to Ave Creations TV, a home for busy professionals and entrepreneurs who want to plan a timeless, sophisticated and unforgettable wedding celebration or special event. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I am talking about Bridgerton. If you don't know what Bridgerton is, it is a show on Netflix that could best be described as the love child of Jane Austen and Gossip Girl. If like me, you've never read Jane Austen and you've never actually seen Gossip Girl, but have an idea of the premise of both, then you may understand what I'm talking about. And if you don't, it's set in the Regency time in England and it focuses on eight siblings who are actually pretty close and part of the Bridgerton family and we get an insight into their lives and follow them around as they try to find love during the season. The reason why I am doing air quotes is because you have to watch to know what the season is. I don't mean like the season as in a series. Um, there is a thing in the show called the season. I don't want to have any spoilers in this video. So if you've not seen it, I say pause, head on over to Netflix and give it a watch. I managed to watch it over the course of one evening and then into the morning. Um, and most people I know have binge watched it too. But if you want to know how Bridgerton can inspire your wedding, then stick around. Welcome back. The show is inspired by the book of the same title. And if you have watched it, what I'm saying to you now will make a lot of sense. So when I say that this show could inspire the theme for your wedding, I am not talking garish or gaudy. That's not what we do around here. As I say at the beginning, we're thinking timeless, sophisticated, elegant celebrations, whether that's your wedding or a party. And I'm going to show you how you can draw inspiration from shows such as Bridgerton or anything that you watch and how you can weave it into your wedding. So I'm going to disappear for a little while. You'll hear my voice. And I'm gonna show you pictures to illustrate my point further. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to cover five areas, the venue, clothing, decor, entertainment, and details. I'll start with a mood board that I created just for you to have a look. And then if you continue to listen, you'll see more images and me explaining in a bit more detail. Let's begin with the venue. Think grandeur, magnificent architecture, and picturesque surroundings. Pictured here are Ashford House in the Hertfordshire countryside and Ditton Manor in Royal Berkshire. You don't have to run to the countryside though, you can find beautiful venues with period features in cities such as London. Moving on to the clothing, the Regency style was quite distinct as evidenced by the cast wardrobe in Bridgerton. It was characterised by cap sleeves, soft silhouettes and empire line gowns which surprisingly still makes the styles wearable for the modern bride who appreciates comfort and traditional elegance. You don't have to copy the style exactly, but choosing a dress with a simple silhouette such as the Rita Coulson cape dress pictured or something lace such as this in ball drawer dress is perhaps a little more sexy than the Regency era would have permitted, but as I said, it doesn't have to be exact. These are just suggestions you can interpret the Bridgerton style as you wish. For the men, think classic tailoring in beautiful fabrics. You can opt for a contrasting fabric for the waistcoat a la Simon Bassett. You know you'd love to see a groom wearing something like Simon. Now on to shoes. Ladies of the Regency era were partial to a stylish boot or delicate shoe. Emmy London is perfect for both. While one of the pairs depicted is a bit more glitzy, as I'll keep saying, this is simply for inspiration. You don't have to be exact. Choose to interpret this as you wish. Now moving on to the decor. As seen in Bridgerton, consider airy and light decor with bountiful blooms filled with large headed roses and other premium flowers. Abundance is the name of the game, but that doesn't mean you have to fill the room with flowers if budget doesn't permit. You can choose to focus on specific parts of your venue, such as a fireplace, staircase, or your ceremony space in addition to the centerpieces for your tables. I'll include the cake as part of the decor as it tends to be quite a feature. The cake pictured is by Tease Bakery, an expert baker with exquisite attention to detail. When it comes to your cake design, consider sugar flowers and intricate reliefs as seen on the show. Now onto entertainment. One of the things I loved about Bridgerton was the music. 
I'm a huge fan of classical music and even more so with a contemporary twist. I mean, they were playing Ariana Grande, but with classical instruments. How wonderful would it be to have a string quartet playing the latest hits at your wedding? Live music need not be stuffy and boring. Cue intermezzo music. Check out their Instagram and website to hear them play. It's totally worth it. And finally, the details. When I say details, I mean things such as stationery, the textures and finishes. Pictured is Mathilda London stationery that I absolutely adore. While implementing traditional calligraphy and wax seals, Matilda's designs still have a contemporary feel and would be perfect for a Bridgerton-inspired wedding. When it comes to the details, think crystal glasses and stunning, beautifully textured linen. You also want to serve food that is not only delicious, but very well presented. I'm back. I hope those suggestions gave you some ideas as to how you can incorporate the opulence and beauty and fashion that you see in shows such as Bridgerton or any of your favorite series and movies. I hope my tips and thoughts have helped you to see how you can incorporate things from your favorite shows and movies into your wedding or special event. It doesn't need to be done in a tacky way. I will forever sing the song of timeless elegance because in 10 years time, 15 years time, you want to look back and still feel like you could have that wedding now. At least that was what I felt. It's not for everyone. If you want to have a fancy dress wedding, by all means go ahead. But if you're anything like me and what this channel stands for, then you want timeless elegance. So I hope that's helped. If you have any questions, let me know below. If you've watched Bridgerton and you have some thoughts on it, then please let's have a dialogue below. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And even if you're not new and you haven't subscribed yet, why not? You might as well. And then turn on your notifications as well to know when I upload videos. I want to wish you a happy new year. Thank you for sticking with me this year. 2020 has been quite the roller coaster for us all. I am hoping for better things ahead for everybody and all the best with your wedding planning. I've got lots more videos to come in the new year and I will see you then. Bye.